Yeah, whatever. So this may not be the toolbox tour that some of you have been waiting for for quite a while. That is still in the works. But in order to do that one, I felt like I should do this one. This is an update of my mobile box. I keep it in my car. First off, though, I want to thank Bob Kinsey. I'll put a link to his channel right up here. He sent me some stuff that he got like at secondhand stores. It was like new old stock. We got a tool here for taking the bolts off of the top of struts. It's got a couple different sockets with it. And then he sent me that thing, which I haven't figured out yet. And then he sent me a big old Allen key that is for removing, uh, I think, oil filters from VW. So thanks to Bob. Thank you, Bob. Now, uh, I will put a link here to my old video right up here, the last toolbox tour I did to give you some frame of reference. People came through with recommendations after that toolbox tour and at least one instance I did take them up on that. So this is an old school Craftsman metal box. Metal so I got the four inch magnetic tray here from Harbor Freight. I got a bunch of assorted nuts and bolts. I got the Harbor Freight LED free 27 LED it's got magnetic there it's got a hook it slices it dices you get the point moving right along here is like one of these Larry style lights this is a uh, cat as you can see these things are about $11 on Amazon and they are bright there's a couple different styles. I have a couple different. I like this one with the magnetic base on the bottom. I'll put links to some of this stuff down in the description. But uh, I'll keep moving along. In the top here, I got the Milwaukee 11 and 1. I think it's 11 and 1. See, I did a video about this. I'll uh, I'll put a link to the video up here. I'm not wild about this thing, so if I lose it out of my mobile box, I don't much care. Then I got a cheapo one. I think this is a task force. I got a whole handful of these from Lowe's. I think they were about a quarter each, and I thought just for the bits, it's worth that. It stores some bits in the handle as well. Husky, their version of the old Sears Robo Grip. You see there, it's automatically adjusting. I got like, uh, what, a six or seven inch pair of these and then like a 10 inch pair. Uh, you know, again, these work pretty well. They're not much to look at, but they work pretty well and they were, they were cheap. Anything in this box, I don't wanna feel too bad if I lose it or if it gets stolen. Here's a magnet, extendable magnet. That's always handy to have, always handy. Not real strong, but it'd get the job done. Cobalt, or uh, no, this is a Stanley 3 8 inch ratchet. Oh, what else? Cobalt 3-in-1, quarter inch and half inch on one side and 3 8 on the other. This thing is, hopefully you can hear that. This thing is 90 teeth. You know, it's, I actually like this really well. Obviously in confined areas, it's not gonna work well. But. Otherwise, it does okay. Got a razor blade in here, scraper. I think that's a Harbor Freight. I've got sockets galore, and I got mix and match. I've got cobalt impact sockets. Uh, I've got Stanley chrome sockets, Craftsman chrome sockets, cobalt chrome sockets. Between these rails here, I've got about every socket I would realistically need for my own mobile box. Uh, You guys remember this hey i found a use for it here's the video up here after much consideration and thought probably too much thought i found a good use for this thing and it's in the mobile box 72 teeth pittsburgh pro quarter inch on one side flex head three eighths flex head on the other side i found a good use for it folks more ace hardware small needle nose pliers here my shadows get in the way I'll try to move over to the other side here I got some electrical tape uh, more sockets these are these craftsman socket rails I got them for free so 
you know, you can't complain too much, but oddly enough, the Craftsman sockets are the ones that fit worse on the, uh, worst on the Craftsman socket rails. Again, you see some mix match uh, cobalt and Stanley in here. It's mostly cobalt in here, but I do have some Stanley. There's some quarter inch drive. That's a full set of uh, metric quarter inch drive six point. Just about everything I have in here is six point. That was a metric set. That's the SAE. These are all cobalt. Uh, I got some universals here. Universal nut rounders. Those came with a ratchet that is, uh, these are cobalt as well. Came with a ratchet that's down below. There's a socket that fell off. Here's some black and decker bits, hex, hex bit drivers. These are non-magnetic because I like frustration. There's an 18 millimeter that fell off, impact socket. I got some of these impact sockets at uh, Lowe's for like dirt cheap, like under a dollar each. Craftsman Evolve hex bits. I've got metric uh, and standard. And you see there the rust on that one. A couple of these are pretty bad shape. Craftsman Evolve, you know, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad for the price I paid. I want to say I paid about uh, two or three dollars for each of these sets, metric and standard. Not too bad. I've got a Pittsburgh Pro 19 millimeter deep and half inch drive. That's in case I have to do a timing belt on the side of the road. Uh, I've got extensions. Most of these extensions are cobalt. I'm not going to pull all of them out of here because I want to take up too much of your time. Tire inflation gauge there. Uh, and I've got a couple small wrenches in here. Here is a Wobble Plus extension. This one's a, this one's a Pittsburgh. Actually, this is not Wobble Plus. This is just a Wobble and 3 8 drive. Uh, I've got a Craftsman 3 8 ratchet in here. Man, I got a lot of ratchets in here. Well, I got some bits in here. Some of the stuff in here I keep in here just for the sake of potentially loaning out. You see, I got some more sockets over here. Razor blades. Uh, pocket screwdriver, a couple smaller wrenches. Some of the wrenches I have are redundant. And uh, any wrench I keep in here, I could potentially give out to somebody who needs it worse than I do. Again, fighting the shadow here. Here's something that was mentioned to me last time when I did the toolbox tour. A couple people said, hey, you don't have a hammer in there. And I realized, I don't have a hammer in there. So I rectified that. I got a, the cheapest hammer I could find at, uh, at Harbor Freight, 16 ounce fiberglass carpenter's hammer. Here's some of these pliers, these orange handled pliers from Harbor Freight, which are garbage. There's no two ways about it, but you know what? They do what they need to do some of the time and that's good enough. Performance tool pick set, I did a video on that. I'll put that video up there. Wiss 10 snips, uh, these are awesome. I just got the yellow handle. Those are for straight cuts. You know, you can kind of make them work for left and right, but for kind of an all inclusive pair, these have come in handy a couple times. I got some more redundant wrenches. Most of those are Pittsburgh. Uh, oil filter pliers, those are handy. These are Fram, I got them at Walmart. I'm sure they're equivalent to the Harbor Freight pair. Those weren't too expensive. Here's another thing I can loan out, quarter inch drive Husky. I think I paid $2 for this thing. It's got a bunch of bits, 19 piece quarter inch drive. It's got some bits, some sockets, bit driver. More redundant wrenches. Most of these are Husky. I think I've got 10 through 19 in here. I need to loan those out and never get them back, quite honestly. Here's more of the orange handled pliers, the linemans, the dikes, which are absolutely terrible. Smaller pair of dikes, which are a little bit better. We've got a, oh, Keith, if you watch this, this is for you, buddy. Allied vice grips. Keith says that these are the worst vice grips 
on the face of the earth. Milwaukee, 25 foot tape, this thing's a beauty. Two for $10 at Home Depot around Christmas time. Love it. We call this an exercise in futility. Pittsburgh Universal <laughs> Snap Ring Pliers. Ah, uh, what can I say, you know? If I get one use out of them, that's something. Here's uh, another quarter inch drive ratcheting screwdriver. More bits, more, it's got, you see up there some of the like micro torques. That thing comes in handy, has a number of times. I got some more empty socket rails. I got some Stanley brand Allen keys here. Wire brush, a uh, miniature set of vice grips. I got a Harbor Freight file here. That actually is not horrible. Long handled 45 degree needle nose. These are like of the 11 inch long version. These things have come in handy more than I can tell you. Oh wow. This is the mark of, I need to warranty this. Hey, Cobalt Lifetime Warranty. I actually put this in the Christmas video for the Cobalt Buyer's Guide 2017 Christmas video for Cobalt. This and that Universal Nut Rounder set. I wanna say I got it for seven bucks. I'm gonna hold this thing out and go warranty it because it has come apart on me. I got a Pittsburgh pry bar here. What's this, like this 17 or 18 inch pry bar. Uh, works just fine. It's more socket rails. Needle nose, orange handle, Harbor Freight, more Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh, 12 inch adjustable wrench. And then I've got Pittsburgh free black handle screwdrivers, uh, worth about what I paid for them. I got a round file in here from Harbor Freight. And this is a Harbor Freight hose pick, like for the big one for the radiator hoses. This thing's good. I have the uh, larger version in one of my other boxes. And that's pretty much it. That's some anti-rust stuff, more open socket rails. In addition to this stuff, I also keep, not in the box, but elsewhere in the trunk, I keep the Capri 12-piece uh, metric set, eight through 22. Uh, I bought an extra 18 millimeter to go in there because it doesn't come with 18. Uh, see if I have room to put the tag in here for the video, I'll put it up here. Uh, and I keep the SAE set in here too from a number of times now. Stamp of approval from me. I'll leave links in the description. Check out onlinetoolvendors.com and let me know in the comments section if I am missing anything out of here. I think I got about everything but the kitchen sink at this point, but you know, you guys come up with some good ideas sometimes. So until then, ta-ta for now.